Hello again and welcome to Kimmel Bay Church and our meditation from time to time on uh, the scriptures. Uh, today our subject matter has the title of the real face of the Lord Jesus. The real face of the Lord Jesus. And the scripture that we're recommended to use as our basis is the 53rd chapter of the prophet Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 53. And it's well worth reading. It's a wonderful chapter. And if you'd like to read that, you could press your pause button now and come back to me when you've read it. Okay, uh, you're back with me, good. And uh, we are looking at, as I said, the real face of Jesus. Now, if we give any thought to the, the, the way that our Lord Jesus looked, um, his facial expressions and so on, the short answer to all this really is, <laughs> we don't know. We don't know, and we've got no means of knowing. Uh, this is before the days of videos and cameras and all the rest of it. And so we really don't know what the Lord Jesus looked like, really. It's probable in the culture of his day, it's probable in that um, eastern Mediterranean country that he had a beard. It's probable that uh, he wore his hair quite long. It's probable that he used to wear flowing robes for coolness in the heat of the Middle East, and uh, other aspects of his his appearance, I suppose, will be as the population was in those days, probably wore sandals and that sort of thing. But more important, surely, more important than this, is what his facial expression depicts, what it betrays of his character, of his nature, and I would suggest that that is what we need to be giving our attention to this morning or this evening, if you happen to be watching later in the day. Isaiah 53, above all chapters in the scriptures, I guess, shows us what his looks betray. Isaiah 53 shows us that the Lord Jesus betrays his love by his facial expression. I can just imagine him looking lovingly upon souls. We read, don't we, somewhere that uh, he looked over the city of Jerusalem with sadness. He looked uh, over people with sadness. He took pity on people. His love was betrayed in his facial expression. His sacrifice was betrayed in his um, facial expression. He didn't have to come down to this earth. He didn't have to come down here, but he did. He chose to. His love and his sacrifice, and he betrayed in his facial expression, I'm quite sure, his care, his care of people, his care of humanity, his care, let's face it, his care of those he created. Let's not forget, let's not lose sight that this is part of the triune God. This is the Son of God, uh, the creator of the universe. Let's get back to his visual looks then, shall we? We can be sure, we can be sure that his visual looks uh, betrayed his sympathy and his care, his concern and his understanding. Do you remember when he met the woman at the well do you remember how he crossed all those boundaries, all those barriers to reach that woman with the good news of God? He crossed barriers of, of, of nationalism. He crossed uh, uh, sexist barriers because a, a man wouldn't have normally asked a woman for a drink. Uh, he crossed uh, all sorts of barriers to, uh, to reach that woman and to introduce her to real faith in God and his face must have must have betrayed kindness and care for that woman's eternal welfare it must have done we can be sure uh, that those were uh, his facial expressions his expressions 
on those who were bereaved must have been caring and, and sad. I can imagine him at Lazarus' grave weeping. I can Im The Lord Jesus did cry. We read in the scriptures that he cried. And I can imagine that he must have cried probably at Lazarus' grave. I can imagine the tears rolling down his cheeks as he uh, mourned the death of this dear man. He, 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 his, his facial expressions reached out to the blind. Blind Bartimaeus and others like him, our Lord reached out to them. His facial expressions, which they couldn't see when he first approached them, but when he cured them, they could see his facial expressions then, and uh, the, his, his facial expression must have betrayed his care for the blind, his care for the sick. What his face must have portrayed when they let the man down through the roof. Do you remember they let the man down through the roof right in front of our Lord uh, in that crowded house? His expression must have uh, conveyed care and concern for this dear man and his illness, and more importantly, for his need of forgiveness of sins. Those who are poor, those who are blind, yes, those who are sick and bereaved, our Lord's facial expressions would have been sympathetic and kind towards all of these. And his facial expressions when he was on trial, you can imagine his facial expressions when he was on trial, as he was being accused, as he was being abused, spat upon, as he was being uh, hauled towards a terrible death. His facial expressions must have been so solemn, so serious, so much conveying his suffering. And you know, that was all for you and for me. Such is this Saviour. We, we may not be able to see his face, but uh, we can know from Scripture, I believe, and I've just tried to elaborate on that, we can know from Scripture what his face must have betrayed. And you know, the wonderful thing about all this, wonderful thing about all of this is that one day, one day, we shall see him. We shall see him face to face. How wonderful that is, to see him face to face. When I was a young Christian, a long time ago, we used to sing a chorus which I haven't heard sung for a long, long time. And it used to say this. It said, We shall see his lovely face one bright golden morning. Sorrows shall be turned to joy, heartaches gone forever. No more night, only light, when we see his face. What a glorious thought. What a glorious thought. I say, will you be glad to see his face on that day? If you've, if you've, if you've taken Jesus on board as your saviour and into your heart, as your Lord, uh, Lord of your heart and life, you will indeed be glad on that day to see his lovely face. And it is my prayer, it is my prayer today that you will indeed on that day be glad to see his lovely face, that you will be among those who are glad to see the Saviour's face. <clears throat> Goodbye for now and the Lord bless you.